Hi, my name's Matthew Mead, and in this video, I will be explaining how extra functionality can be added to Axis Camera Station by using analytics. I will show how an ACAP can be installed and configured, and how it can then be integrated into Axis Camera Station using the Rules Engine. Axis cameras can have additional applications installed on them, and these provide extra functionality. These applications are known as ACAPs. ACAPs are developed in-house by Axis, but also by third parties. On our website, you can find all of the ACAPs. And in this video, we will take a closer look at the Axis Guard Suite. Axis Guard Suite is free to install and compatible with video products running firmware 7 or higher. Axis Guard Suite comprises of three products. Motion Guard, which is advanced motion detection with perspective. Fence Guard, where virtual trip wires can be applied as an alarm trigger. And Loitering Guard, which will alarm if loitering is detected. So, the first step is to download the ACAP from the Axis website. Select your model of camera and save the file. The next step is to install the ACAP on the camera. Open the camera's web interface and select Apps. Select Add and select the file you have just downloaded. Once it has been installed, it is time to configure the ACAP. The interface for Loitering Guard is simple and only a couple of steps are required. The first step is to select the area you want to monitor for loitering. Drag the boundary to where it is required and extra points can be added to make more complex selections if required. Name the alarm. Note, multiple areas and alarms can be created on the camera. Next, define the loitering period. This is the time taken for a person to be in the area before an alarm is raised. One option available is to show an alarm overlay. Turn the overlay on and select a stream resolution and an alarm box will be displayed when that resolution is selected in the VMS. The next step is to configure Axis Camera Station. Select Action Rules in the Configuration menu. Select Device Event and the ACAP alarm that you have just configured will be shown. This will be used as a trigger for the alarm that we are going to create. Next, we can configure some actions. So we can select a camera to be recorded. Note, you need to make sure that the pre-event recording is longer than the loitering time. We can also trigger an alarm alert to alert the operator. So here we are highlighting to the operator loitering has been detected. We can set a, a schedule if required. And finally, we name the rule so we can easily find and manage the rules. So here is live and we can see that the suspect has walked through the scene and not caused uh, an alarm. And now is in the area that is being monitored for loitering, so soon we will have an alarm. And there we have an alarm, which has raised an alert to the operator and it had started an alarm recording. If we look at the recording pane, we can see the alarm recording shown in red on the timeline has just started when the intruder is outside of the area. This was the pre-event recording. Hopefully this video has given you an insight of how ACAPs can provide extra functionality and how they can be utilized within Access Camera Station and integrated to develop more complex solutions. 
Thank you for watching.